Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Mufida and I'd like it if you click down below to subscribe to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing a little bit of a chill get ready with me. I'm getting ready for brunch. It's gonna be my makeup, of course, my outfit, which includes jewelry, shoes and bag, and obviously my turban. Also, I'm gonna include fragrance as well. So yeah, just sit back, relax, carry on watching and let's get right into it already did my skincare a while ago I also applied sunscreen I wanted to do something like a full glam but it's a little bit warm so I'm gonna be a little bit light-handed with my products also I'm not gonna be wearing any falsies today because I really don't want to it's gonna be a clean makeup look no eyeshadow none of that just something super simple and very natural looking I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows of course I'm just gonna be you know concealing them I have my brows microbladed so I like to just conceal them and just get them out of the way I'm gonna be using my Kevin Aquan sensual skin enhancer I'm gonna start off by cleaning up the bottom part of my brow I really can use the Kevin Aquan sensual skin enhancer anywhere else I just prefer it under my brow because it's like super thick I feel like under my eyes is just a little bit too drying so I prefer it under my brows it's kind of thick and it doesn't move around a lot which makes it easier to sculpt the brows out with so yeah one brow is out of the way I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the concealer under my eyebrows. I was saying this concealer is thick and drying. It dries very fast. If you do not blend it out, it just becomes like super patchy and it's really not flattering. So I'm gonna buff that into my skin. I feel like I haven't done a sit down or a talk through video in a while. I know a lot of you are like new here and and you don't know a lot about me. The last time I did a chit chat get ready with me was a while ago. I just haven't done any of those. I put up a few vlogs and I just paused a little bit with the vlogs because you know vlogs are not really my thing. I vlog when I feel like I have a lot of interesting things coming up and I just feel like it'll be fun to watch. But generally my life is yeah it's a little bit boring just good old working and like i feel like vlogging my life is not very interesting so i just like to vlog when interesting things are happening to yeah i put a pause to the vlogs and my thing and how i grew this channel is makeup and skincare i really do enjoy um those um type of videos so that's why i keep putting them out there yeah so if you're new here my name is mufida and i'm ghanaian i'm muslim i like to create looks i like to film makeup tutorials beginner friendly makeup tutorials a little bit of skincare here and there i also like to do body care and a little bit of vlogs like i said so yeah that's what my channel is about that's how i grew So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin. I'm gonna use the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. I like this primer for like hot, humid days. It's long wearing for the most part, but I just like that it's not like really, really mattifying. And I like to layer it with, you know, matte foundations.
For foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and use this um, combination. It's the NAS Soft Matte Foundation. I'm usually in the shade Macau, but I realize Macau is a little bit too dark. Um, so I'm mixing it with the shade Mori or Moria. I don't know how to pronounce it, but the NARS Macau is medium deep four and the Mori or Mori or Moria is medium deep 2.3. So I just mix these two up and they work quite well. So I'm going to just put the NARS just a little bit. This is the shade Macau. I'm going to just add the Mori on top of it just like this i really like this foundation and i like that it has a dropper it's just so great so i'm gonna spread it out on my skin evenly so i was saying that my channel is mostly beauty mostly makeup and skincare but i realized that my beauty videos do not do so well like they used to not that i'm bothered or like i'm really really pressed about it it's very normal that the trend is changing but i want to stick to what i love doing what i enjoy doing because that's what brought most of you here and that's what is keeping most of you here i just want to stick to doing what i love and i don't want to just go with the trend because eventually I know myself if i'm not happy with something i will stop doing it i just want to stick to doing what i'm enjoying which is beauty videos skincare videos body care videos skincare empties the good old youtube <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna stick to doing that i know some of you really do enjoy my vlogs so i'm not cutting off vlogs of my channel but i'm not gonna like be pressed about vlogging oh my god i need to put up a vlog i need to put up a vlog no i will vlog when i have the chance to when i get the opportunity to when i feel like something fun is happening and you guys would like to you know watch i would vlog so so be looking out for a few or sprinkled of vlogs here and there but for the most part you're gonna be doing makeup and skincare videos i'm really bad at multitasking like doing my makeup and talking but i want to know how you guys are doing there's a lot going on in the world a lot happening there's oh my god i had to delete my news app because i would wake up in the morning and i would see a lot of just terrible things happening around the world um and it wasn't good for my mental health i was like no i don't need to see this but eventually i downloaded it because i want to be updated on what's going oh i have a little bit of lash glue on my lashes one reason why i don't like applying lashes there's always a residue of lash glue on your lashes anyways i had to delete my news app because i couldn't deal with all those bad things coming up or coming out to me when i just pick up my phone but eventually i downloaded it back because i wanted to be updated about what's going on in the world obviously i don't want to be just there living my life and not know what's going on i don't know if you get what i'm saying but a lot has been happening and i'm really really worried about people and your mental health i'm an empath and being an empath is so hard it's really really hard let me tell you being an empath is kind of like you feel and to some extent you kind of absorb what people are going through especially the people you care about and it's very very hard and difficult for my mental health for example if my sister is going through something and she tells me about it all of a sudden i have these feelings and i feel sad like i'm in her shoes and i'm worried about her and how is she dealing with this and stuff like that so imagine feeling like this or being like this and happen to see the news so many things happening at once and you're absorbing all that so imagine how it feels like i had to draw back and just get a hold of myself get a hold of my feelings before going back into the world because it's not easy it's really not easy being an empath and what's most exhausting about being an empath is trying to con control your empathy or trying to not let people take advantage of your empathy because trust me when people know you're an empath they like to take advantage of you and another thing about being an empath is that you have 
gut feelings and most of your gut feelings are right most of the time when i meet someone or i'm getting to know someone or i'm introduced to someone and i have a good feeling about them it's usually true for concealer i'm gonna use my Too faced born this way and my elf camo concealer the elf camo concealer is in the shade medium neutral and the born this way concealer is in the shade warm sand so talking and doing my makeup is definitely not not it it's really hard I like to just explain what I'm doing or just shut up and do my makeup otherwise I would spend the entire day here and not be able to go and have my brunch but yeah I was talking about how being an empath is kind of difficult in the world that we live today where people just want to take advantage of you or use you or get something out of you I don't know if I'm making any sense but yeah I'm gonna buff this out with my real techniques brush what's under my eyes i think i'm gonna let it sit for a while so yeah i've had to you know take a hold of myself draw back into myself and get to know myself more because i realized that my environment is changing i'm meeting a whole lot of people i'm growing to know myself more and more i am expanding my knowledge on life and you know my relationship with god and my relationship with people in general so i've had to draw back take a step back and like reevaluate the situation because if i don't i'm just gonna not be my best self not take advantage of situations not grow not get opportunities not open myself up to opportunities of growth and success and just learning so yeah i will was kind of being sad and getting sad about the situation of my videos not doing as well as they used to but I came to terms with the fact that hey Mufida this is something you enjoy doing you've enjoyed doing it for a while there was so much happening in my life and YouTube and beauty tutorials and makeup tutorials have been a sort of channel for me to let go of some things it was kind of therapeutic for me so I had to go back to my roots and then tell myself that yeah this is something you enjoy doing people have learned a lot from you people benefit from this so do not follow trends just do what you are happy with you know when you're doing things that you're happy with everybody tends to see it in the end so they usually get the best of you i've had to come to terms with that as well and when i celebrated my birthday a lot of things just came to light i really had to let go of some of my childish behaviors i've had to let go of some of my traits some of my habits <laughs> i don't want to get into that like i don't want to get too deep about things but yeah um a lot has been happening with your girl and yeah i'm really really grateful alhamdulillah i'm really grateful for some of these things that have happened in my life another thing is i have blocked some people off my social media some of these people i have known them for a while they weren't really my friends i just had this bad feeling about some of them and some of them weren't really helping in growth in my growth my growth as a person we're kind of i don't even know how to say but yeah i've had to block some people take some people off my friends list like they were not really friends like i can count the number of friends i have off one hand so that's like less than five and if i take out my family it's probably less than two people just on one hand that's how my circle has become small oh this concealer is blending out really really nicely i really like how it's blending so i'm gonna go in with my sponge from real techniques this is the microfiber one i got it recently and i'm not really a fan of how it blends things out they say it doesn't have a lot of bacterial growth on it that's why i bought it because i'm trying to take better care of my skin i'm talking about my skin it has come so far my skin was so bad if you've been watching me for the past two years my skin has truly transformed transformed and i am so grateful to god for that and i'm so grateful for the resources and the knowledge that people put out there for us and i've never ever had a facial before never i did all this based on home care and i'm someone who does a lot of research um before buying 
particular skin products because girl if you follow hype you mess your skin up trust me i'm saying this from experience i have stopped following trends when it comes to skincare oh my dog is being fussy he wants to come out and play but he has to stay inside because he's on medication and he has to kind of stay away from the female dog so they're separated and he's being really really fussy so if you hear any whining it's my dog he wants to come out and play so <laughs> so the skin is skinning for the most part i was talking about how i've had to learn how to deal with my skin type and my skin conditions on my own because my skin has been through it and people hyping a particular product and everybody's jumping on it and buying it even though it doesn't work for their skin i have stopped doing that because my skin has its own mind and if i don't listen to my skin it's gonna get messed up again and i really Really can't handle that I can't handle that anymore no I would be able to handle it <laughs> I would be I discovered that my skin doesn't do really well with AHAs and I know that I have a video talking about how amazing the Ordinary's glycolic acid worked for my skin. Yeah, it did work for some time and it stopped working. So I realized my skin barrier is not really a fan of AHAs. So I've had to stop using leave on AHAs. When it comes to facial cleansers or masks, I'm good if they have a little bit of AHAs in it. But toners, serums, moisturizers with AHAs chase that i have to leave on my skin for hours no my skin would scream and i would break out yeah also i realized that my skin does not like chemical sunscreen it either likes physical sunscreens which are like really ashy or the hybrid chemical and physical sunscreen but just purely physical sunscreen no girl my skin would break out so i've had to learn all these things about my skin over a period of time i'm really grateful that i know these things about my skin so for setting um powder oh i didn't mention the blush that i use the cream blush this is from Liss beauty or lys beauty it's a satin matte cream blush and it's in the shade confident it's kind of um how do you say pink plum vibes and it goes with my Milani blush from Milani. <laughs> so I like to use it on an everyday basis. It's really, really light and it just looks really amazing. So I'm just gonna, you know, go over the edges of my face just to blend in any harsh lines. And I'm gonna go over the area under my eyes to iron out any creases. And then I'm gonna push the setting powder into my skin. I'm using the one from Huda Beauty. It's in the shade Banana Bread. Just pushing that into my skin. So I've had to learn a lot about my skin over the past few years. That has led me to this point. So if you want a piece of advice for skin, of course, I'll show you guys product empties and do product reviews because I want you guys to know the real tea on products. I'm not someone to follow hype. Everybody's using something, so I'm going to use it. I would read reviews. I would watch reviews. I would do my own research. I would look at ingredients i would do all that oh my god i think i am messing my makeup up i need to fix this all right so yeah i would read reviews i would watch reviews i would look at product ingredients and stuff like that before i actually buy a product so yeah that's how it's been for me i'm trying to find a skincare ingredient that everybody swears by that is amazing i've honestly forgotten the name of the products everybody swears by how amazing this product is and i am allergic to it whenever i use uh skincare products that has that particular ingredient in it my skin would break out in hives so get this i got a sunscreen that everybody was talking about i think it was purito or something now i can see the name freely 
Purito sunscreen um, before it was pulled from the market of course and I think they've reformulated it and it's back on the market but it was working so well for me my skin was thriving and one day I felt an itch on my neck because you know you use sunscreen and you bring it all the way down to your neck right so I felt an itch I think you can even see a little bit of the scar left but I felt an itch on my neck I scratched it and then it started to spread turns out it was hives I didn't know it was the sunscreen that was irritating my skin that particular ingredient in the sunscreen was hurting my skin I went to the hospital to get shots because of that I suffered I suffered so much and I didn't know it was because of that and everybody kept hyping it so I later figured out that it was that that thing that was breaking my skin out in hives and everybody raves about this product so I'm gonna set the rest of my face with my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish complexion perfecting micro powder in the shade tan I'm gonna push it into the rest of my skin this powder is magnificent wow anyways I'm not saying that if a product is being hyped it doesn't mean it's good no do your research before investing into a product because skin skincare makeup is not cheap it's pricey so you have to do your own research before you know getting into or buying a product or investing in a product I'm gonna go ahead and apply my bronzer I'm using my Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Coconutty I'm trying to get my hands on the Juvia's Place bronzer in the shade Tan nobody carries that product in Ghana I've been checking all the beauty supply shops I get my stuff off, off of Instagram and nobody carries that in the shade Tan they have dark and dark deepest or something but I want something tan because uh, I don't like very harsh bronzers so I just wanted to try something out but this still works for me. I just wanted to try something new for myself. This bronzer is literally butter. Butter. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen that video of Rihanna talking about the Fenty Beauty body butter. She was like butter. Butter. <laughs> I love the way she sounded it was so cool anyways I'm gonna just put a little bit of the bronzer on my eyelids I'm not gonna be doing eyeshadow so I also want to go into this dark brown from the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions the very dark brown shade this one I want to put that I want to put that into my lash line just because I'm not going to be wearing any lashes and I just want to help out my eyelashes. I'm also going to line my eyes with a dark brown pencil. Okay, so this looks good. I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line. It's a little ironic that eyelashes are supposed to protect your eyes, but they end up getting into your eyes and irritating the hell out of your eyes. I haven't actually filled my brows in, so I want to use this pencil I got from Juvia's Place. It's the Brow Crayon Eye Sculpt eye shade brow pencil it's in the shade dark brown i used it once before and i just want to use it again it's, it's just really really soft and it's just seamless I don't know if anybody else does this but i don't celebrate small victories i make or I have goals that I have to achieve something and in between achieving that goal or on my way to achieving that goal I achieve other smaller goals right and I don't take time out to celebrate those small wins till I get to the bigger win or the bigger goal right I realize that that's not good I need to be able to celebrate small wins as well so I had it in mind to work with a lot of brands like I wanted to work with and particularly number of brands right but I didn't get to the number or the particular number I'd set for myself within that period of time I was able to work with Juvia's Place Juvia's Place and Evita Joseph these are brands that I use and I love I just really really dear to my heart got to work with them and I didn't even celebrate those wins because I was looking forward to getting a bunch of other brands that I didn't get to work with but I got to work with these two amazing 
amazing brands and I didn't celebrate it. So comment down below and let me know if you do this to yourself. I need to do better at it. I really need to do better at it. Celebrating the small wins because eventually small wins add up to become big wins, right? So celebrate the small wins. I mean, I hit 162,000 subscribers and it's a huge win, right? I have dreamt of the day that I would hit 10,000 subscribers, 100,000 subscribers, 150,000 subscribers and I hit all those milestones and I didn't even get to celebrate 162 subscribers. Like, that is mind-blowing, right? I'm super appreciative of you guys supporting my channel, liking my videos, commenting, sharing. I really, really, really thank you guys. You brought me so far i've been able to work with maybelline Duvia's plates evita joseph amazing brands right and i didn't even get celebrated i should do more of that i need to do more of that because a girl works really hard i'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose just really lightly with my bronzer So this looks good. Of course, you know what comes next if you watch my videos, baking. I don't know when the girls decided that baking is terrible. Baking is amazing if you do it right. Baking works for some of us, so I'm gonna keep baking. Once I decide to film, everybody and their mother decides to do something loud or do some construction or that's when they decide that, oh, we're gonna go out and shout on top of our lungs and just have a conversation, right? Because Mufida is filming. Even the roosters decide to come and make noise because Mufida has decided to film. They all want to get a piece of the video. Just annoying, really annoying. This looks good so far. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my blush, this blush from Milani. I love her. I'm gonna apply that with my Real Techniques blush brush. I love blush. I recently just ordered the Rare Beauty Cream Blush. I've been on the fence about getting it for so long. I just went ahead and decided to get it because the hype the hype got to me and i love selena gomez my childhood was selena gomez wizards of worthy place i love selena gomez so i was really really happy about her brand and i haven't got anything from that brand so i decided to go ahead and get the cream blush so yeah this looks good so far i'm gonna go ahead and apply my charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder micro powder in the shade medium i'm gonna push that under my eyes just very very lightly so this looks really good for the most part so i'm gonna go ahead and set my face i'm gonna use my airband decay all nighter I'm gonna apply the Fenty Beauty Royal Icing Highlighter. I love how this looks. It's kind of a smooth, glittery highlighter, not like chunky. It looks like specks of dust, gold dust. In my opinion, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's not like the regular highlighter that we all know. It just gives glitter. I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara. I generally lack in the eyelash department. I am very, very endowed in the forehead department, so that's great. I don't know if I'll ever get the guts to try eyelash extensions, cause <laughs> Go when I wake up in the morning, the least inconvenience. I just remove everything before I realize it. Like the least inconvenience, my fingers will be in my eyes, massaging the hell. I can't wear eyelash extensions. I feel like I'll just plug them out before the end of the day and my eyes just get easily irritated. Plus, I am one who wears 
glasses and if i don't have my glasses on for some time i'm just gonna get a headache and i'll be uncomfortable the rest of the day and my eyes are just way too sensitive to have eyelash extensions so i'm praying that i'll be able to do them maybe if i'm going on holiday sometime i'll try them out and see how it works out for me i'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with my fancy beauty stunner lip paint in the shade unveil And then I'm gonna let that dry down. I love how cool toned it is. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with a dark brown lip liner. So any dark brown pencil would work and I just use this to overline my cupid's bow. Obviously I can't talk while doing this so. Just like this and then i'm gonna shade the corners just to give me like the pouty effect yeah and that's about it for how i line my lips looks so good so i'm gonna do this thing that annoys a lot of people but i'm still gonna do it because i like to do it i'm gonna put a little bit of black liner onto my mold just to enhance it so that it looks more visible or pronounced and i'm gonna put a little bit more of the dark marks on my skin just because it makes me look exotic and i like that look yeah for the center of my lips i'm gonna use the fenty gloss balm cream and the shade fenty glow Just gonna give me a natural looking lined lip look which i love but yeah this is the end of the makeup i'm gonna put on my turban i'm gonna show you guys how i do that because i get a lot of questions as well so just hold on a sec i'm gonna be right back so i put on one of the pieces of my outfits that i'm gonna be wearing today i just needed to move my chair back a little bit i'm using my burberry scarf kind of looks like this it's very big and it has frills is this called frills i honestly don't know what these are but these tiny loose um fabric endings um it's one of my favorite turbans i got it from a thrift shop off of instagram and it happens to be oh okay this is 100 percent cashmere okay i didn't even know i just like the pattern of burberry stuff i'm gonna put that on my head i usually just put my hair a loose low bun and i put this sock hair protecting thing because it's lined with silk and i just feel like it protects my hair more and it has elastic endings to it like this so yeah it looks great right um so that's how i protect my hair under my scarves so yeah i'm gonna put the turban on my hair i obviously like fold it in so that it's a little bit shorter and it kind of covers this side of my hair probably the lighting is going in and out i'm terribly sorry about that so i'm gonna just tie this um the back just like a regular tying just like so so it's gonna look like something like this um you don't want to tie it or make it too tight just because you are gonna get a headache if you tie it like that and you want to just adjust it i'm gonna wrap this just like so just make sure it's tied in well just you know flatten it a little bit and i'm gonna wrap it at the back just like so and i'm gonna tuck it in the back when you tuck it in it's gonna make the turban tighter so yeah you just wanna as you can see there are some loose ends here so you just tuck them in and then we're gonna just um push it under again just tuck everything at the back nicely and just make sure that they look good <laughs> for the most part this is how i kind of tie my turban I just do this and just finesse it but yeah this is what it looks like i just switch out the fabrics sometimes i hope it makes sense so let me just put on my outfit and i'm gonna show you guys of course what i'm wearing so for fragrance i'm gonna be layering i like to smell warm vanilla -y. 
I like to smell like warm vanilla, like that type of smell. So I love this combo. This is both from So De Janeiro. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name right, but this is the Brazilian Crush Cherosa 71. It's the caramelized vanilla and macadamia scent. It's a hair and body mist. I go through these really fast. Um, I like to spray my hair a lot, especially when I get it washed. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna be using that all over my body and I'm gonna be using the So De Janeiro So Cherosa 62 um, Eau De Parfume. I'm gonna be layering these two. I love these scents and it just makes me feel really, really good when I use it. Um, so let me show you guys my outfit. Take three. This is the third time I'm doing this. I hope that it works out because <laughs> your girl is super late. For my outfits, I am, first of all, this bag I got off of Sac Republic. I don't know if they still exist, but I was on Instagram. Not the best quality, but I've been getting a lot of use out of it. I've had it for a while and there's a lot of space. So yeah, I'm gonna be carrying a lot of stuff today and i'm pairing it with these um short heel shoes slippers sandals i don't know what to call these but i got it off of instagram as well i got it a while ago again not the best quality but i'm getting a lot of use out of it so this shirt is from my mom it's just a loose linen shirt she gave to me just a little while ago this top i got from mr price it's a tank top um it's quite hot so i'm not layering too much i'm, I'm wearing the back in front and the front at the back just because the neckline is a little bit low and I wanted to just cover up my jeans are from denim crafters from Instagram they are thrifted loose Calvin Klein jeans I love them they're comfortable and loose my jewelry these hoops and my necklace and this bracelet I got from mains off of Instagram these rings are from Shein and this bracelet I got off of a random shop on Instagram I've forgotten that as well. My turban is from Thrift Shop on Instagram. I showed you guys how I did this turban style. These glasses I got from my sister. There's no name on it, so yeah, this is what they look like. So this is my outfit, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it um, if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Bye.